Hey, what's up, everyone? This is going to be Adam versus Marco. And I know these are two famous players. Um, Adam is like kind of like a really good allies, but like, he's really hard to beat. And I guess Marco is considered one of the best Soviets of all time. And the video quality, as you see, is a little bit worse than what I usually do because I didn't record this, so just watch the video so anyway they're not gonna eat so he's just going engineers before he's just taking advantage of the fact that he knows he's not gonna eat he's just not even scouting but then he's starting to scout after unit ready I have the tool I won't be studying blueprints need a repair the plans right here construction complete I have won't be late construction options Building. 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 Now, now, as you see, like, um, this, this, like, if this was Yuri's Revenge, I just pointed the difference real quick, um, between this and Yuri's Revenge. This is regular 2 right here. Um, tech building captured. like, you could do some crazy, like, things, like, fast tech in, three minor tech in, two minor tech in, um, versus the, so versus the Soviet, and go straight fast mirage tanks, and it sometimes works. And so, against the building, you're gonna build to the right and build down to the gems. But, here, um, you have trouble versus doing fast mirage because then he's gonna get desolators Unit reporting. and flag bomb you. Building. But it is still good to get mirage if you can manage to not get desolated. But and he's going one minor forward and he's gonna defend with pillboxes. And look at heat marker is Russian, one of the best Soviet players in the world. Russian, but it's gotta be good. So he's trying to um defend with pillboxes. I remember that making too many pillboxes is bad. But since he won one minor from war, he can afford to do it since his economy should be ahead. And he put the um, pillbox there, to, I guess, to stretch four. So he better not make planes because they're going to be right out in the open. And he's trying to take the hill advantage and harass the miners, I guess. And now he wants to chase away his, his rush with that run rocketeer. And two rocketeers, I guess. Yeah, that's actually good, but uh, let's see if he could if he could manage it. Let's see how a professional Soviet. So one flag truck. Usually this guy makes flag cannons and like and then sells them. He's famous for that. Buying and selling flag cannons. But usually I think that's more against planes and racketeers. Well, it's both, but I mean more against planes against Force Korea. Here you go. Oh, we got a hell advantage. Oh. Oh, he did make a plane. So he's gonna try to take out a plane. This is a good allied play by trying to take out a one flag cannon. See if he's any gonna get any flag cannons. Now he could kill that flag truck if if it moves with the rocketeer, but that's kind of risky. Hard to do. So I want to see that he's trying. He wants to attack, and the Soviets just wait and like they took the wrong path by accident. Oops. Uh, he wants to take out that oh, the, the sentry gun. He actually it, is building some defense. It's interesting. You think that like the best players would just go up here offense or something? Alright, so he's making a second flag strike. So that, there you go. Oh, and that actually, I'm actually disappointed by that para drop. He para dropped right near the barracks, which is the worst spot. But anyway, he's really a good player. But I mean, that's just a bad para drop. His allies. Yeah, the barracks is like the, the worst place to the para drop, especially in Red Alert 2. All you gotta do is two two or three dogs and it's game over for the for the GIs. Now he's gonna now he's making his third um flag. I don't know how he's um canceling his rhinos for flags. I'm I'm wondering like what he's doing. I don't know if he's making one unit at a time or something weird like that. He might be doing something like like Star Trek Starcraft 2 type macro. He's making one or two right at a time and then clicking on his second and then third flag truck so his one plane can't take take off and then the rocketeers move in so he's managing his anti AOL the Marco now he's coming from the left side and he's actually um, he's trying to get a lucky power drop and I don't know uh, it might be better just to use that GS for pure defense and this actually is hard to guess which side you should put more tanks to when they do half and half it's hard to um, Guess like should I, is it more tanks on the right side or more tanks on the left side? It's kind of annoying, but he has a luxury of 
of um oh, that, that's actually good by him if he had a little bit more tanks to the right um i think the green um ally player would be better off if he had a, just a little bit more to the right but he had, he could be with my oh look at that two tank split oh my god that was wow that was good did he get the tank I couldn't tell that was a really good two tank split i didn't even see that and i'm watching so anyway and look at how this tanks are on the right side well, he is circling him. You know, this is this is good. If if this Adam guy, if he gets his Mirage tanks going, man, he is, he he, he get, it gets scary. I'm telling you. He definitely 100% can't make a orb here fire right now. He should probably shouldn't even be making that. Uh, uh, I guess he can be. He has to keep making his stuff. Cause actually, he's doing good, but. Um, yeah, he'd be better off just saving all these GIs, I think. I mean, I can't... What, what else could I, could I figure out? And I don't know if he... Yeah, he might be able to win right here. Uh, wow. He's really putting the heat on the Soviet player. Oh, is, is he gonna... Is there Desolators in there? No, no. Just, yo, he has conscripts inside the... <laughs> that's so funny. Conscripts inside the flag truck. That's an interesting idea. What is that? Like a, um, like a fodder bomb? Like he's trying to use fodder so, like, so they absorb um, bullets? That's that's crazy. That's weird. That's interesting. Not um, he's actually, what, what, the, Yo's actually winning by that tank formation, that tank control right there. He, he made the um green follow him, and he actually followed him advantageously. I mean, Yellow got the advantage in that follow. Um, he he, well, he outplayed him really, uh, honestly, right there. That, that was that was crazy. Um, I don't know if the um green could come back. He got his lab blown up. He does have Rocketeers. He has a chance of blowing up this week. Rhino tanks, but it looks like the flak is, isn't gonna let that happen. And yeah, he's got too many tanks. He's got towards as many tanks, even though some are damaged. I don't think he's gonna put up a fight. That was, that was interesting, that flak truck with the conscripts in it. Yeah, I think um, the Adelaide player should have saved his paradrops in his base or paradrops a little better. But, oh well, good game.